start off the adventure with a little bit of traffic, but I'll get there with plenty of time. Off for our magical adventure! The excitement level is just overwhelming. It's hard to explain it to you. I'm using a brand new tripod this trip, and I think it's working rather well. It's getting the camera a little further away from me, so you can see more of what's happening. You'll have to let me know if you like it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. We already made it. It's like another wave of Disney. It's like you leave the airport at Maryland. Okay, wave to Disney, another one. You arrive at Orlando International, another one. Go to the airport, another wave of Disney. Take the escalators down, another wave of Disney. You can't help but smile. You just you can't, you can't help it. Oh, I'm nowhere fun. I'm just standard location at a standard airport. Magical Express right there. Uh, this is another, I, I can't contain myself. I cannot contain myself as I'm walking on to Disney's Magical Express. Off to Pop Century. I can't explain it. I can't. I just can't explain it. Bye, Orlando National. See you real soon. Not that soon, though. Not that soon. I'll, I'll see you in a long time after I experience the magic together. Thank you so much. I've been here for 10 minutes and there was a proposal. They just got engaged. Do you really? They're fun, they're fun. Your ghost host. There's my jam right there. How do I describe it? I, I don't know. I don't know how I describe this feeling. Just walking around the Magic Kingdom, enjoying the magic. It, it, there is no way to describe it. Aim for the seas. I can't tell you the last time I was at uh, Carousel of Progress with my family on our last adventure together. That was magical. I don't know why right now it's so difficult for me to leave Magic Kingdom. Like now seems to be more difficult than most other times I've been here. <laughs> Simply because, I don't know, it's Halloween and it's great to be back. It's the first day and I don't want to leave, but I'll be back. I gotta remind myself I'm gonna be back in a, in a day or two. It's gonna be great. And of course, I've gotta sit at the front of the boat and enjoy all the beers. <laughs> Just take it over it. Oh my gosh, I, I, I gotta do this more often. I gotta take this boat more often here. This is so beautiful. Pegasus, are you excited about Artist Point? Glad to hear that. Now here we are at Artist Point. I'm so glad to be here. Haven't been here I'm probably ever, but I have to ask my mom, maybe when I was a little kid, but can't wait to try it again. You know, the longer I sit here, and I love being able to just relax and enjoy this view, I think about what it would be like to live here. You know, a lot of, uh, a lot of Disney enthusiasts live in Florida and really enjoy it. And I know, I know my passion for it would change if I did live in Florida. But I don't think it would get, you know, get bad. I think it would just change. And that's not a bad thing. You know, my love for Disney has changed as an adult. You know, it's, it's evolved into something even greater than what it was. You know, and I, I love it. I really do. But I'm so worried about like, falling out of love with Disney that I think it prevents me from, from even thinking about that. But, you know, I, I know a lot of friends have been asking a lot of questions to a lot of people like, well, you know, what do you think? Do you like it? You know, and I don't, I, I don't think I'd do it for several, several years. I mean, maybe never, I don't know, but it, it's definitely an interesting thought. Great meal, great server, Kristen, thanks again. This trip, I mean, it's so relaxing. The big thing that I changed, I'm really not looking at my phone nearly as much as I was. Made it on the bus and now we're off to Hollywood Studios. Thank you. It's going to be great. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway, Runaway Railroad is going to be great. I have no doubt about it doesn't mean I don't miss the great movie ride. Now I'd love to spend more time inside Walt Disney Presents, but right now I'm gonna run off to Fantasmic, so I got a good seat. I'll be able to see more of those models a little bit later. Da, 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 da. I might have to figure out if one of the parks has late magic hours because I am wide awake and I'm ready for more magic. Okay, I got some great advice about five rows up from the bottom should be relatively dry. I wanna keep a lot of my equipment dry here, but I wanna get closer for you so we can get a good view. Loved every minute of it. Let me tell you, it's been too long since I've seen Fantasmic. I loved it. I'm just browsing around on Sunset Boulevard. Good night, Hollywood Studios. Thanks for the memories. Who's the leader of the club who's made for you and me? Okay, cross your fingers that my carry-on and luggage is there. If it's not, they should be able to deliver it for me. Furthest possible room. Don't mind. Don't mind for the renovated room. I will walk. That's fine. Okay, first time in the room. 
Here we go. Wow, this does not feel like pop century. And yes, I can't believe it, I've got soaps. Yes, they are not putting up that uh, dispenser. They're giving me soaps for now. That is a fantastic thing. Thank you, Disney. Now, it's a really nice room. I have to say, it's a really nice room, but I wonder about the feeling of magic. Like, I want a little bit more, like, intricate little theming. Like, I like how they've done this, but just more Disney. Like, more Disney everywhere. I see the Mickeys back there. Those are great, but more Disney, I think, would be great. But I'll give it a sleep, and I'll see how I feel tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is another magical day at Walt Disney World. Let's get to it. And it is a humid day out, as you can tell. Mm. Mm. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. That's just an early morning thing. Excitement for the day. Thank you very much. I see right behind me, there's something going on back there. Some kind of filming or something. Maybe it's for the 30 stays, 30 days. Oh, my. Oh. Do I want to get a coffee first thing this morning? Part of me says yes, another part of me says wait till later. I'm going to wait till later. The park opens at nine o'clock. It's now 8.41 in the morning. I am leaving Animal Kingdom before it even officially opens. Thank you, I'll be back, I'll be back. Now this is the first time I'll be using the GoPro to film during the adventure. Now I'm a little bit worried about the battery life. That's the only thing I'm worried about. I did some little dremeling to work some of those microphones just a little bit better. Hopefully that will work well. But if it's not as long as usual, don't worry. I'll be working on that in the future. But I'm gonna experience it for the first time. I've got an annual pass for the water park, so you know I'm gonna be going back. It's hard to imagine people are still sleeping this time of the day. Let me just say it feels super weird to be going out to the parks with basically nothing. I got this great backpack from my friend Felicia. I've got sandals on, no camera. The camera's over there, I'm using the GoPro. So we're off for an adventure. Love raspberry, but also love the chocolate. Okay, now it's time to change and put my GoPro on the charger and grab my other camera. You ready? Here we go. And just like that, I'm ready for our adventure. Let's do it. I can see that the lens hasn't gotten quite used to the humidity just yet. So He's doing well. His name's Pegasus. <laughs> Every single time I ride Kilimanjaro safaris, it's different. Every single time. I don't remember that tree being kind Let's of see what else that is out water. Here today. Usually pretty rare, pretty difficult to see them. Obviously, they do blend in very well with those. Take a look at this. Yeah, look at just how big those horns get. turned out really, really well. There's the official Disney helicopter. Real Pegasus or Pegasus on a stick? Real Pegasus. You know, something I didn't notice before, take a look in the water right there. There's uh, some little plants right there. Either I didn't notice them before or they're new. 
drum show going on throughout the day. It happens a few times during the day, and it really adds a to the atmosphere here. Now the blueberry cream cheese mousse was really good, but super, super sweet. I couldn't eat it all. I really couldn't. It was a nice little like treat. Like you can split it maybe between four people, and it would work pretty well. Express bus service area has been converted to a fast pass uh, queue, fast pass area for getting a new fast pass if you need it. Sounding great. Zero weight. I mean, the standby was zero weight. The fast pass was zero weight. Zero weight, Kilimanjaro. Our friends, if you're looking at the list, you're probably like, Animal, do you think it might be at 20 feet tall just yet? Was it passing by? You know, after that one time I saw Divine, I haven't seen her again. Usually she's like a morning performer. I'm always looking for divine. I'm exhausted, on the bus, pretty contemporary, but very excited. A couple years ago, a few of my friends brought me to the DVC lounge. It was incredible. I only had a few minutes. I didn't have that long to see it, and I wasn't vlogging like this at that time, so I cannot wait to see it again and show it to you. Now, for this much excitement, let's get a new battery in the camera. Thanks to the whole Shingleton family, take a look at this view. I, I am without words. <laughs> I, I'm having a hard time taking it all in. There's the Magic Kingdom, there's the Grand Floridian. You can see the Polynesian and of course the Contemporary. Having trouble taking it all in. It is beyond magical, beyond. Bye, Vana Rail. Now the Magic Kingdom is open until 11 p.m. Could I stay out that late? Absolutely. Will I stay out that late? Probably not because I have Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party tomorrow and I want to make sure I'm fully awake for all that past midnight. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to experiencing it, but I'm going to go back into the Magic Kingdom just for a few more minutes of magic. Thank Thanks, you very much. You too. See you tomorrow, Magic Kingdom. See you real soon. Now, this is not uncommon. There's so many people going to Pop Century and some of the other value resorts. They actually divide one of the bus stops into two. So 29 and 30 are both for Pop Century. Disney Springs is still open. Should we go? No, I, I can hardly lift my feet off the ground. It's funny, when you're in one of these far off buildings, you don't go through the main lobby that much. So it kind of makes going to and from the bus a little bit easier. But I miss the lobby a little bit. Maybe I'll make like a long loop tomorrow to go to the Pop Century lobby. All for a magical day. Last night at like four in the morning, I could tell that there was a small child who did not want to leave Walt Disney World. I think they were trying to leave. And this, uh, this child was uh, making a little bit of a loud uh, fit about leaving. Not the end of the world, it didn't last too long, but this does happen sometimes where there are some who don't want to leave. And I can understand that, I really can. General rule of thumb in Florida, any body of water that is not the ocean, do not go anywhere close to it. I have to tell you, the Skyway to me, it sounds fun. It sounds like more of a fun way to travel. I love the buses, I love the monorail, I love the boats. The Skyway is just another option. I am definitely for having more options. You know, I actually think it's kind of funny. There are a few friends that I met yesterday who were like, Michael, this is like really who you are. They met me, they got to know me, and when I meet someone in person, like I'm, I'm the same person. This is, this is really me. This, I'm Michael, this is Michael. And so when I, when I meet someone, they're like, oh, you're really, you're really like that. I'm just like, yes, of course. This is, this is me. This is my vlog. This is talking about things that are exciting and fun and magical. Thank you very kindly. Can you hear that music in the background? Da 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 da. And different music in Tomorrowland. I think I'm in like a small form of Facebook jail. Like my page, not my profile, is being like slightly like slow. And when it's sluggish like that, it can mean one of two things. Either you're in jail or Facebook isn't working well. I'll uh, keep an eye on it. 9.15 in the morning. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin, a walk on. Mission accomplished, Space Ranger. That's, that's pretty funny. And you know I've got to get that Galactic Hero sticker. It has been accomplished. Backpack was so light, I really, I'm not feeling as much of a difference as when I was carrying that super heavy backpack, so I might stick with the backpack idea. I'll have to uh, think about it. The, of course, I get stuck right here with a heart speeding. Oh my god. It's definitely been hotter at Walt Disney World before, but the humidity is definitely what gets you. So remember, hydration is key. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh my gosh, spinning camera. Whoa. Oh wow. Okay, camera looks okay. Wow. I got hit directly with that one. <laughs> that's that's pretty cute. Look at this never-ending wall of mugs. Guess what time it is? It's Dole Whip time. Delicious, love it. Okay, it's almost time for the party. I'm just going around a little bit, doing a few more minutes of shopping after meeting some wonderful friends, and then I will be transforming into Captain Hook. Hi, how are you? Help me, Mr. Smee, help me. Oh, he's getting ready. Can you wish upon the star? Now maybe we should take a bet now to see if you think that mustache is gonna stay on me during the party. I hope it does, I have this new kind of glue that apparently is like mustache glue, it's supposed to help with that. So I hopefully it will stay to my face despite the fact that it's a little hot and humid out. We'll see. And as you can see, I have added a wig at my mother and sister's suggestion to the costume. I think it definitely adds. Thank you again, Mom and Michelle. It's you're gonna get in my mouth all night, I can tell. With a mouthful of hair. And I see the Magic Kingdom bus. Maybe I can catch this, but I'm not gonna risk running because I feel like the costume will come apart if I run. All right. Hey there, how are you? Going in my mouth, but this is so much fun. Hey! Oh, hey there. I'm seeing several Wendy's and Peter Pan's and Tinkerbell's right over there. Ahoy there, Tigger. Hi, Tigger. The heat is, is intense, it is. I'm hot in this costume. But, you know, I've been hotter at Walt Disney World. It's hard to explain that. Do you know about that? I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm right, see? I love tricks with words. Mm -hmm. So right, I'll be nice. I'll let you keep your other hand for today. I want you to be able to eat the candy that you get. Just Seems keep those, only keep fair. Those crocodiles away and deal. We'll deal. It's all. I'll tell you what. You get a one-day pass. I will keep all the lizards off your back all and, right. and hands. All right. No hands. I'll think about that. Deal. Deal. Hello there. I'm looking for Peter Pan. Have you seen him? Have you seen him? <laughs> keep those wings wide there, Tinkerbell. He may even turn into a bird. Looks like it. Yeah. Looks like it. Well, I mean, I like that anyway, so then I don't have to hear him babbling on. And he doesn't want to talk to me when I'm trying to avoid him talking all these days. Tell of him course. Him. Yes, there it is. Exactly. Can't believe the mustache is still staying on. So impressed by that. The sun is going down. I've got some of my pins, some of the special pins. Some of them are going to give away too, so that's going to be great. When I get back, I also need to go and find those shirts. So the party should be starting here in just a minute. I want to get some pictures and some shirts, meet some more characters. It's going to be magical. Where's Tinkerbell? Oh, she flew away. You missed her. Uh, uh, <laughs> after service. Just standing here for a second in the air conditioning. Oh my gosh. There are no ghosts aboard my ship. <laughs> Not that you could see anyway. Oh goodness. I think Mr. Smee is a little bit afraid here. No need to be afraid, honey. I've been hooked on you for years. <laughs> That's very good. That, that, loving it. Loving it. You should join my crew. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Captain Hook, how are you? Good to see you, Captain. Nice to meet you. I like it. Well, I like your hat, too. You have a great hat. Nice to meet you. I love all the soundtracks that happen during Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So fun. Look how spooky that is. Oh, I always feel like somebody's watching me. 
Well, we're just trying to see if you've seen anything quite spooky that we can certainly bring back to Halloween town. Yes, we're keen to get some new ideas. New ideas? Well, I've seen a crocodile every so often. It's spooky. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we would have oh, got to remove it. Oh, it's he who took your hand. Unfortunately, oh, a couple oh, years ago. Oh, that's not unfortunate. I wish I had a hook. I should imagine. Well, if you ever it get it benefits. Well, that's yeah. true. If you ever get it back, Sally can sew it back on for you. Oh, well, I appreciate yes. that. Okay, the only reason I was able to see Jack and Sally tonight is because of the kindness of several of our friends in the Disney family who invited me and say, oh, yeah, he's part of our group. Come on over. They, they did not have to do that. You did not have to do that. You know, you know, and I really, really appreciate it. So, thank you. As you can see, Walt and Mickey are right up there. They're starting to close down just a little bit, but look at look at this. There's, there's almost no one here. There are people on Main Street getting some pictures, but wow, what, what a way to end the night. Love it. Look at this, the dancing lights here. Main Street's dancing along with it. I love it. Running on fumes, as you can imagine, but... Wow, what an experience and so many great memories. Today was truly a magical experience. Tomorrow is another magical adventure. See you then. Okay, after a truly magical day yesterday at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, I'm all packed up and I'm gonna move to Riverside today. It's my resort transfer day. I have not been to Epcot on this trip yet. I know it's hard to believe, but I cannot wait to go over and try the food and wine festival. It's hard to describe being here. Just listen, you can hear the Epcot music. Fountain of Nations right over there. Maps be here, and look, you got Festival Center right there. I'll go through that later today. Wow, what a day. Time is now 9.06. This is Test Track at 9.06 in the morning. Take a look at this. Spokane. We're Spokane. A little bit of an audio Spokane. loop going We're Spokane. on here. Here we go. That was so much fun. Great way to start the day. There goes Monorail Green. Now some of my friends have asked, Michael, what's it like to carry around a big camera as you're walking around Walt Disney World? Well, when you start out with it, it's a little bit awkward. You're like, okay, what am I doing talking to the camera? But as you progress and you know learn more, it becomes a, so much part of the magic with you. Four, three, Now I'm about to go into the festival center. I didn't think it would be open until 11, but looks like a lot of people are going in and out of there, so I'm gonna try and go in there in a minute. And now I'm thinking of the universe of energy. I'm already missing Helen's energy adventure. They're offering complimentary smoothies and you get your annual pass holder button right here. This is a little joke for my dad. This is my camera. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Without my camera, I am nothing. Without me, my camera is nothing. I can't even get through the whole thing. Now, of course, that is a joke. I, I am something without my camera. I'm just joking for my dad. And okay. we gotta get out there. We gotta go all around the world. There's so many great options. Right. Gotta get to the chocolate studio. That's that's what's bad. Though. That's what's bad though. Chocolate studio. But if you are at Disney, calories don't count. Calories don't count at Disney. Thanks to you, of course. If they're trying to. <laughs> Minnie's in here too. This is. <laughs> Minnie and Goofy here together. Oh my gosh, that's so great. You look great as always. As always. Look at the Oh, thank you very much. Ready for food more? Yes, I know. It's delicious. The chocolate studio is my personal favorite. What, one of yours too? I love the chocolate. I know, it's, it's delicious. It really is. That is some of the best corned beef I've ever had in my whole life. That, I... You know when you're so happy about something, you get like super serious? And that's what's happening, because this corned beef has got to be one of the best things I have ever tried at Disney World. Like not just Food and Wine Festival. I can't, oh my gosh. Wow. This corned beef, flavors from fire. Incredibly, incredibly good. See, if I lived in the area, I could come back every single weekend and try every single thing at the Food and Wine Festival. See, things to think about. I haven't gotten one of these coins in so many years. I actually have a book full of the coins from around Epcot from when I was younger. This is so cool. I drive a Chevy Cruze. My dad actually has been driving a Suburban for years. I was talking to one of the cast members. He was like, oh yeah, you gotta go to our VIP lounge. And so that's where I'm going now. Let's see. I'm sorry, I, I, I usually have better descriptive words um, to describe what I'm, just what I'm seeing here, but I don't because I've never been up here before, and I'm a little, I'm a little um, struck at the moment. 
um, looking out at Epcot and the Universe of Energy and Sorry, it's a little bit emotional. In this moment, I've also realized several other things. Um, social media, which is great and connects us, and I love it, has nothing on a, a moment like this. And the, I haven't touched my phone except for one quick Instagram live stream because it, talking to you like this is more in the moment to me than the phone. I don't know why, I can't explain it, I cannot. Maybe I'll explain it when I get home. But I'm in the moment here with you and this camera. We're talking together, this this is not a distraction. This is me living in the moment with you. I love vlogging. I love being able to share these extremely happy moments with you. I'm not even doing anything. I'm not doing anything at Disney. And to me, sometimes that feels like a waste. Like, oh, you know, you're wasting your time at Disney, all that, you have limited time. This is time well spent. Staying up here, just walking back and forth, or sitting in these chairs and looking down at all these wonderful rides, and this world, this world that was imagined by a man. Uh, is a dream come true for me. Very special message to the GM company. Thank you for having this up here. For those who have owned GM vehicles for years and families of those who are you know, part of the, uh, the company to come up here and enjoy it. So we really, really appreciate it. I have had octopus before. This is definitely some of the best I've had. Not too chewy, which is very tough to do with octopus. Oh, the fish, the fish on top here, right on top there. That is spectacular. Mm, full of flavor. Wow, this this is exceptional, exceptional food. Thank you very much. Fun little fact, walking around at my speed anyway, I was able to beat the boat all the way around World Showcase. Wasn't that hard? Just walked around and there it is offloading as I'm passing it. I've officially checked into my flight back to my temporary housing location. Yes, tonight is my last night at Walt Disney World, but tonight's also Illuminations, which I cannot wait to see. There's no words to describe the kind of feelings it brings back to me, but I guess the only way I would describe it is magical, fantastical, Disney magic. It's really a magical day, a magical experience is all around. I mean, I couldn't have asked for better. I just, I couldn't have. There's nothing, there's nothing else. There's zero, zero difference that would make whatsoever. Had a truly, truly magical day. I'm not tired. That doesn't count, I'm not tired. I'm a little tired. Let's use something from Kilimanjaro Safaris. The things you take in with your eyes, you treasure with your heart forever. That's, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's a kind of real yawn. That's a semi-real, but to be honest with you, I'm not that tired. You have a great time. This is, this is early morning shenanigans here. Yeah. That's what this is, all right. Can you think of a better way to start the day? I can't, I personally cannot think of a better way to start the day. Of the doors, por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. I feel like the Tonga toast is perfect, like the more maple syrup, the better. It's not always true, but for Tonga toast, it's especially true. The Tonga toast was really delicious. It hit the spot early this morning, and I'm feeling fully rehydrated now, so I think my throat is feeling just a little bit better. That's what happens, though, when you're so excited at Disney, you start, like, basically shouting, and be like, oh my gosh, look at all this, and then your throat gets all sore really fast, so I, I've got to work on that. But you can tell how excited and happy I am to be here. It always rains at Disney, and the fact that I have not had a rainy day at Disney on this trip is like incredible. It, it's super, super rare. That doesn't count. It's the last day. John's last day don't count. Is at the heart of 
of all creation. Mr. Drake's summertime. Yes, that's the original. Right. Do something. Yeah, yeah, he's very attached to it. I can understand. The bridge and just fuck out of his bed like a pancake. Spins around in circles so he gets where he wants to be. Is he chasing any noses anywhere? Not anymore. No. Okay, good. Living with the land has a 20 minute wait. I'm gonna do it. I, I really wanna do living with the land. I want to, so I'm gonna do it. I'm leaving plenty of time. Time's now 2.33. Given my track record though, this is probably a terrible idea. I had second thoughts. That's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. I don't wanna risk it. I'm gonna walk back. Lifting off all those positive things. There are so many positives, so many. I'm just waiting for my magical express now and just relaxing, just taking the last few minutes to sit back and reminisce about how magical it was and thinking about Bob Jackson. I'm not gonna see him play on this trip, but maybe a future trip. He is a lot of fun. It was magical. Working at the airport as a cast member must be a very interesting experience. You get those who are super excited and can't wait to go to the parks, and then those who are just coming back from it. Now, as you can see from this giant bag hanging from my carry-on item, I did a lot of shopping here in the airport, found some great items for family and friends and a few giveaway items as well. So now I'm going to go to my gate and get ready for the flight. And now we're changing. It just, you can never tell. You can never tell what luggage is going to come to. Now I'm in the car on the way home looking forward to our next adventure together.